Welcome back everyone to the Zoo Stars Unemulated Retro Game Channel. It is shit game time once again. It's Friday, whoopee fucking do. Heading off to the weekend. Unless of course you're working over the weekend and I, I pity the fool that is. Anyway, what have we got this week on the Amiga? First person pinball, as you can plainly see right there. Requested by YouTuber Ray C. Hello mate. Uh, you've got certainly in for Timesoft games, haven't you mate? Um, yeah, so what can we say about this game? Let's have a look at the rundown. Published in 1989 by Tinesoft, as I said. Developed, or Pooveled, by Cirrus Software, Stroke Subway Software, uh, Poo Ground by Nick Sen. Graphics by Philip Nixon, music by David Whittaker. Ah, well, one of the boys there. Uh, well, there you go, it's on the screen there. Uh, released by Cortex, of course it was. Um, yes, I think this music might have been developed on one of your tea breaks, isn't it, David? Because by the sounds of it, um, this isn't one of your corkers that you come out with. I can think of Levenek, Platoon, uh, Bad Company, there's loads of other bloody... David Wicker, you did Shadow of the Beast, didn't you? Correct me if I'm wrong. So, £25 back in date. That would cost you £64 in two days' money, which is about $80. Think about that before we start playing this. Most of the reviews across the Lemon Amiga sites and other forums don't have much love for this game. So, uh, well, we'll find out, won't we? Because I haven't played it. I know what the controls are. I've just checked them. And the controls for any of you that want to play this is the arrow down to bring the ball back, very much like Pinball Dreams and Fantasy. So to release it, you have to press the space bar, it says. And the alternate keys are the left and right flippers. So. That's all I know. Anyway, that's time to get on with it. Look at this, you can also choose bits and pieces here. Overhead seems to be the normal thing. So let's start off with that, shall we? Um, so how do I start? Is it space bar? Is it space bar? Let's begin. Yes, okay, here we go. Right then. Uh, uh, right, okay, so... Not only have you got borders at the top and bottom, but uh, the play area is on the left-hand side, half the screen, so it's a very small play area. This reminds me of another pinball game, which I really enjoyed back in the day before Pinball Dreams was released, and that was Pinball Wizard. I think that was by uh, Kingsoft. Uh, had a loop tune of Tangerine Dream or something like that. It was a cool little tune. When you reset the Amiga, it used to have that devilly laugh. You couldn't reset it. You have to actually turn the power, your Amiga power up by the plug uh, for about a minute because it stayed in the memory. It was quite creepy. That's on my channel, by the way. Um, I did like that game, but this looks similar. Um, don't know about that scoreboard. That's quite huge in the top right-hand corner. And then the bottom left, uh, bottom right, is a 3D perspective of it. Don't know if we need that, but let's see if it works. Right, uh, pull down. There we go. And then you press base bar. Yeah. Okay. Flippers. And immediately I can see it's very chuggy. Very chuggy. Slow. I didn't, how did that ball bounce right over there like that when I didn't even have the, I didn't even hit the flipper? <laughs> oh, I've caught it in a, in one of those whole catchy things that gets your points. I, I haven't actually hit the bloody ball yet, I've got one of my flippers, look, flip, there we go. Oh, there's a huge pause delay as well, the ball mechanics are um, not exactly Top notch. Oh, there we go. I always, yeah, typical. Oh no, it's come back out. Usually, I always find the side alleys like that, and I die a lot. Very big delay in the flippers, and I don't know about that 3D effect. I don't know. I mean, it's original, but what's the point of it? And correct me if I'm wrong. Call this tune. You can't turn it off. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
But there doesn't seem to be a lot on this table you need to do. I mean, there's no... I haven't even got it at the top half of the bloody screen yet. I'm not even... I don't feel as if I'm involved in this game. The ball's doing its own thing. Like it is here. I'm not going to press this... Oh, the moment I don't pray this... Okay. The well, moment I don't press the flipper, it goes down. Okay, ball number two. You don't even have to pull it full away. It will still go around the top. There's absolutely nothing on this table to do, apart from it hits those four orange and red things at the top, which, you know, those bouncers, which gets your points. You get it stuck in a hole like I just have there. But apart from that, your ball is just bouncing around. Ugh. Um, and you don't really have much control over it. 25 quid, 1989. Bear in mind, we had Pinball Wizard by then, which played much better. I'd expect this a 1987 game. Very early 88, but not 89. I don't feel as if I'm, I'm, I'm doing anything with this ball. It's just making its own way around the table, willy-nilly, and um, so I'm going to... Okay. Painfully slow. Painfully slow. But there's nothing up there to... Um, to do. It just bounces around. There's no bonus slots. There's no plus uh, times twos or times fours, uh, unlike Pinball Wizard, which came out, oh, I think that was 1988, might have been even 1987, Pinball Wizard by Kingsoft, played a lot bloody better than this, that's for sure, a lot smoother, yeah, there's nothing, it just bounces around, But the 3D effect, I don't know, it's original, I suppose, isn't it? But do you really need that? I mean, are you going to be watching that? To me, this is sort of a, a mess. I've just realised the background of the table. It was like two American football players. Isn't it? Uh, uh. See, delay, it just, it's too much delay. Got it that time. Up there. See, when you really get it in those slots, you don't, you don't get any times two or four or anything. And it's taking forever for this ball to come back down. Look at it, I'm, it's just... <laughs> God. No, don't go back up there. Oh, blimey, you're gonna be all day. And this is the first... Oh, no, and I've got one more ball. Okay, okay, I just, gonna, I just thought, this is the first ball. I'm going to play this for much longer. So what do you think so far, fans, viewers, subscribers, or whatever? What do you think about this game? 25 quid back in 1989. £65 today, £64. Would you be happy paying that? Getting this home and loading this up? Would you think, that's 64 quid well worth spent? Or would you think, fuck, what I could have done with that 64 quid? Could have bunged it in a fruit machine, no, is what you saying? Don't quite condone that. But I'm sure you could have bought yourself something much nicer than this, I'm sure. I don't feel involved in this game at all. I don't feel like, I, I, you don't feel you're earning any of the points. The computer's doing it for you. There's no freedom of the ball. It's just willy-nilly. It's just the mechanics are wrong. At least with Pinball Wizard, and later on, of course, Pinball Dreams, Fantasies and that lot, you had control over the ball. You had control. You could stop it with the flippers. You could aim it in roughly the direction you want. This you don't. No matter whereabouts you hit it on the flipper, it will go where it wants to. In this case, down the middle of the bloody hole. This is 
to my last four. Let's get it over with. Let's see what the other options are. All the way down. It's a very boring table, isn't it? It's just hit the board up there and let it make its own way down. So there's a bit of animation missing there. Oh, typical. Oi! Okay. We'll have that. Yeah, yeah this music could uh, start to get a bit irritating. After a while. Oh, come on. Let's just die. I've had enough of this. I want to see what the other settings are. See, look, it's bouncing around. I ain't doing nothing. Look at that. It proves my point. It should just slide down. And look, look at that. <laughs> How the hell did that? Was there a mole down there or something? I poked its nose out. I'm not doing anything. It just proves my point. You, you're not really... Look, it's making its way up against gravity now. You, you just... You're not controlling it. It's, it's hit and miss. Right, that should just roll down the centre here. Come on, it should just roll. Oh, for goodness sake. Hey! <laughs> Thank God for that. Oh, dear. There you go. Crap! <laughs> oh, dear. That was awful. <laughs> anyway. Um, well, can I play another game, please? Or is it loading some more? I don't know. Just give it a second. Otherwise, we'll reload it in. There's been a few of these games I've played lately where you enter your name or you use game over and you can't, it doesn't go back to the title screen, you have to reload the game and this could be one of them, you know, because I'm not getting any response from it. Right, I think we're going to have to reload this in because there's two other views I want to check out, so um, be instantaneous for you fellas and gals out there, but it will take about a minute for me, so um, see you in a microsecond, you guys, but for me, I shall see myself in a minute's time. Right, here we go. Okay, um, so I've had overhead. I don't know what GT is, and I don't know what first. Well, I guess first person. Let's check out the first person. See what that's like. Player one. So. Oh, oh, blimey! Oh dear, Christ! So we're looking from the top end down the table now. Well, that's different. I got me, but bloody hell, it's choppy as fuck. And even gravity isn't winning this. The ball is not going down. I'm just constantly hitting these things. Oh, there's that spinny thing. Oh. Where are the flippers? Oh, we're right back at the top again. Oh. Then. Am I stuck? What's going on? Ah, oh, there we go. I'm supposed to pause by mistake. So yeah, we're at the very top of the table here, and I've got a feeling it's going to take for eternity to get to the bottom of the table. Oh god, what a shit pinball game. Well, I guess it's got to start from somewhere, but the problem is, for me, this isn't the start. Like I said, Pinball Wizard from Kingsoft came out before this, and that was much better. I can't even, it's not even getting to the bottom. Oh, we're back at the top again. I'm not even doing anything. This is just, you've got no control over this at all. Where are the flippers? You don't know where you are. Down the table, down the table. Is that the flippers? Oh, there's the flippers. Okay, there we go, there's the flippers. Knock, bang, bounce it back up. 
No, I don't like this at all. Because you're um, you're looking, I think for me, unless you can change the direction, you're looking the wrong way. You're looking from the top of the table down towards the flippers. It should be the other way round. Because then that also your flippers are the other way round. Because you're looking at the other end of the side of the table. Oh, I don't like this at all. Can we quit it? I don't know. Can we quit it? I don't think you can. And I've got about four boards. It's going to take forever to lose these. So, um, no, that, I don't like that at all. We're going to have to reload the game again and see what the last view is. Because by the time I let these boards finish, it's going to be flipping an hour's time. I can't even lose this board if I try. It's just... Right, there we go, down past that thing. There's the flippers, there's the flippers, and now it's bounced back up to the top of the table again. How the hell's that happened? Oh, this is crap. Right, okay, on to the last view, whatever GT is. We'll check that out. Okay, right, um, so we've had first person, overhead, GT. Let's see what that is. What's GT? Oh, actually, that's, um... That's a bit better. That's That, that moves much better. Okay. Well, the speed is much better now, that's for sure. Wow, that looks a bit more, um, convincing. Look at that, the ball moves much better in GT as opposed to the standard setting. And the, the, the flippers don't have anywhere near the um, time delay. Well, that's much better. Still not brilliant, but that's much better. So yeah, if you're going to play this game, if you want to have a go at this game, put the GT setting on. That's much better. Again, still not a lot to do on the table. Hey, where you go? Oh, bloody hell, that's not fair. Yeah, that's much better. That's how ball pinball should move a lot quicker, than, you know. And straight down the middle. That's much better. Maybe that's the problem. Everyone was putting the standard setting on, not realising this is, is much better. Yeah, well, if you've got this setting, which is the ideal one, really, why would you have that other, the standard setting, which is bloody awful? Too. Yeah, it needs more bonuses, doesn't it? It needs more where you catch the ball and get times two, times four, that kind of thing, and and uh, colour out items. You know, when you hit certain things more than once, you know, you you light up things or unlight things in case of um, pinball wizard. This is a case of the table just having things to bounce around on. Game over. That, that played much better. Yeah, I don't think you can actually get out of the game once you put your high score in. So anyway, there we go. We'll end it there. Um, 
Well, up until that last setting, the game is shit. And I was going to really, really give it its, its high numbers, but um, that last setting has certainly given it some good marks. It's a still a very lackluster, boring table. Um, you still ain't quite sure where you're hitting the ball. There's no bonuses or any features, and this is 1989, not 1986 or 87. This has come much for, uh, after Kingsoft's um, Pinball Wizard. So, I don't know, that, that's, um, that gave it a few marks, I did a few better marks. That last setting, GT, played a lot more better than the, origin, than the first one, which is the original setting. And as for the 3D, that's a waste of time. But again, it's 65 quid. Would you be happy with 65 pound in today's money? $80. Go down to your local store, buy this. Just imagine your, the Amiga's still alive now. There's games coming out. You went and paid $80, 65 pound, and you brought this home. Would you be over the moon? Or would you be cursing? Or would you actually be quickly thinking of an excuse to take it back to the shop, and when you get there, you can use that excuse to exchange it for a different game? Most probably the third option is what I would go for because most software companies, most shops didn't like giving money back did they? It was always, well you can exchange it for something. I got a feeling I'd be exchanging this for something. So I'm going to give that, uh, because of the high price tag, £25 and that's the same price tag you're getting things like Operation Thunderbolt, you know, uh, 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 which came out the same year if I remember right, 1989. So put that in perspective, different type of game, but 1989 Operation Thunderbolt by Ocean, that was £25, and there's this game, £25. So, again, not good, is it? I'm going to give that a shit rating of 86 shits. That's what I'm going to give it, 86 shits for first-person pinball on the Amiga 500. Please let me know in the comments whether you agree or you don't. It's fair play. It's the democracy, isn't it? You can say what you want, up to a point, of course. Gags on order um, yeah let me know if you had any experience in this game and back in the day and what you thought of it and what you think of it now if you want to quickly put it on a um, emulator and give it a buzz I wouldn't play pinball wizard by King Sob much better right that's it from this edition excuse my tongue I've just been sipping some coffee there that's it from me for this edition of shit game time please join me next Friday for another episode and be sure to tune in it'll be about half past five as normal greenwich mean time or british summer time whatever you want to call it so please subscribe if you haven't and click that notification bell. definitely put a thumbs up uh three random shit game time videos will pop up for you to enjoy there's over 300 of them now and the top left one is for you to name your request so please remember it's you guys and gals that keep this series going keep those requests for shit game times coming once if they keep coming through more of these episodes will happen until next week, take care everyone. Zeus, out of shitsville. <laughs>